Some students at One Valley School also know what it's like to have all the right answers. Yeah, they've kept a perfect GPA for four years of high school, and uh, we're not just talking two or three students. Ten students from one school. That's a lot of smart cookies. So Gibby's live at Chandler Prep Preparatory Academy with all these high achievers. Gibby. <laughs> We're, we're going to meet them all. And you know what? If there's someone who could give James Holdhauer a, a run for his money on Jeopardy, it's going to be these 10 kids here. I'll put my money on them right now. As a matter of fact, they took some time out of their physics final to come talk to me. So hopefully, you know, I don't mess them up. The last thing I want to do is be the one to mess up anything they were doing. But it takes a special person to turn around and do what they did for the last four years and a person who knows that more is their counselor who gets them ready for college the fact that someone you know i remember i think it was my sophomore year that i started to kind of ask around what i was going to do but these kids since the beginning hit it and they have not stopped they have not and aside from being superior students they are outstanding human beings to be able to do this you're right it's not only the classwork but it's the community service and a lot of these kids put in a lot of time to make that happen well they certainly have all have hearts of service they they are uh, advocates of their own school they all work in the community many of them have worked from the grand canyon uh, represented u.s and china they've done so many fabulous things that hopefully they'll talk to you about all right and john paul who's the headmaster out here as well you this has got to be a shining moment for you it's one of those things where as, as a parent you're proud and you see what but as a headmaster you have not won but that had to be a hard process to figure that all out. Yeah, we're proud of each and every one of these students. We're also proud of the students that aren't here. All 81 of our seniors have taken the same exact classes and the dedication and sacrifice is an example for us who work at the school. They've done a phenomenal job. Now, I was saying that at normal high schools, it's, it's kind of easy. You'll say, oh, yeah, this one has the highest grade point average. This one does this. Or, this is who's going to be in. But for you guys, for to have 10 folks who do the exact same classes, excel, they were out in the community to do it, that's a hard process to select and choose. Yeah, and especially we do have a selection process for valedictorian and salutatorian. It takes hours, right? It's a series of three different meetings. Uh, it's very data-driven, and also we provide anecdotes, and it's something our faculty, I went to the faculty two years ago and said, you know, do we want to just award everybody this, or do we want to continue the way we've done it for years? And they wanted to continue, so we put a lot of time and energy behind that, but at the same time, it's important to focus on everybody who's achieved that. Each one of these kids could have been in that position, um, and we want to honor all of them. All right, we are going to honor all of them here this morning because I want them to give me their name and uh, w what the plans in the future have for you. So, yeah, my name is Emily Gautry. Um, I'm going to be attending Azusa Pacific University um, in Southern California to study math and then also participate in their honors program there. I'm really looking forward to it. And for the future? Um, well, I want to work in math somewhere. I don't know yet where. All right. <laughs> I'm Alyssa Fink, and I will be attending the University of Arizona Honors College, and I'll be studying architecture. Uh, one day I hope to build museums and monuments. Hi, my name is Therlethia Zomleffer. I'll be attending the University of Miami's Frost School of Music, where I'll be studying contemporary guitar, and I hope to be a musician and a performer. Uh, hi, I'm Eric Underkoffler. Uh, I'll be attending Barrett at ASU. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I want to study yet, but I hope that I'll uh, figure it out in my first few semesters. All right. My name is Megan Kwong, and I will be attending Wheaton College in Illinois, where I'll be studying English with a teaching concentration. In the future, I hope to be a school administrator so that when I see need for change, I'll have the power to do something about it. Nice. Hi, my name is Olivia Villaboy. I will be going to Barrett next year at ASU. I'll be studying material sciences. I'm not really sure what it's going to take me, so. Hi, my name is Ali Cohen. I'll be going to Stanford University next year, and I'll be studying international relations. I want to be a diplomat, and then mayor of Tempe, and then maybe president. Nice. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan. For you. Hi, I'm Ryan Shariari. Uh, I'll be attending Barrett the Honors College in the fall to study chemical engineering, and my goal is to become a doctor one day. Hi, I'm Emma Norton. I'll be attending Utah State University, and I'll be studying history, and I hope to either be a teacher or a park ranger. Nice. Hi, I'm Kayla Janeski, and I'll be t attending American University in Washington, D.C., and I'll be studying political science. In the future, I hope to somehow be involved in politics. You know, here's what tells you right now that all these, first of all, congratulations to all you 10. You want to know how they're smart? 
none of them are going to be reporters or journalists. Did you notice that? That is oh, the yeah. sign to me that they are that. very smart. They passed my test. That was why I asked them, because if any of them said journalists, I, I was going to question the fact that their GPA was where it was. But I have to tell you right now, uh, I am proud of all these kids here because in order to do that for four straight years, to be perfect Incredible. the way right. they are, not only in class, but in the community, guys, a big ups to them. My congratulations to you all in the future future and everything else so thank you guys so much true stellar role i'll tell models. you what if that is our future i think we're going to be we're okay in good hands. yes we, we are. are in good hands yeah. i can't wait to it, see what all of them do congratulations yeah. to those bright students how proud must their parents I be know. Mm -hmm. i mean we're proud with like my parents were oh. very used to average <laughs> 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 sorry mom and dad that's Aww. funny i'm sure that's not true uh, it's pretty true <laughs> you're above average in our eyes Oh, gosh. Okay, I'll get, I'll get you a Starbucks tomorrow. I thought maybe you would buy it, but no. <laughs> no. no, not at Did all. I, was I not sincere? Was I not sincere? Uh, you know.